Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do some more Epic 7 Guild War content. So hopefully the fights go well. We don't necessarily lose all of our units for stupid reasons. And you know, it just is good, hopefully. So enjoy the video. And here we go. Welcome back to Guild War. It is the final day of, um, of the week. I was going to say of the month, but for like Guild War, but what are we on? We're on the 22nd. Oh, we still got a full week of Guild War before the new year, actually. And we've got Guild War on Christmas as well. Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, so we're against Xion Town today. Uh, they are rank 310. Uh, okay. We're rank 317. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to say that seems really bad, but it's fine. Um, and we're going to swing into the big tower first and see what happens. So, the theme of this video is, is, is Biblis any good? Is, 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 is Biblis any good? Yes. Um, because she did get updated on Thursday, so now we get to see if she's good today. But top team is going to be Moon Bunny Dom, uh, Quazu, Inferno Quazu, and Benimaru. The quick and dirty idea for this is that we're going to get... Full comboed by Pera. Moon Bunny's gonna remove the stuff. I'm gonna see if Moon Bunny removes the stuff. Benny Maru pushes forwards. It can kill the Karen. Do some damage to the Senya. Senya AoEs. Quazu kicks Senya in the mouth, blows her up, and then Pera just falls over. Right? That's the idea. See if that works. I'm not sure if that combo will work between these two or not, but we'll find out. Uh, bottom team, we're bringing Dark Core versus Dark Bit because I want something to protect versus the light units. And he's like the first thing I could think of that isn't just running ML Ken or Bologna. And I also don't really trust Ken versus the Selene. I don't really trust Carvus, I'll be honest. I want something a bit bulkier, I guess, but this'll do. Um, we'll do Lionheart Samia first, actually. Just because it didn't really matter either way, but still. Lionheart Starmia for doing some DPS stuff because I just like her with Biblis and there's like two counters here that we need to try and force. I'm hoping she can just like not die to both of these, but that could also be a problem, I guess. And Biblis with her new changes. So, Biblis is the same on skill 1 as she was before. She now has an 80% defense break on skill 2 when it activates, which is cool. A 2 turn buff duration decrease, which is also cool. And she gains the combat readiness whenever she sees a counterattack from the enemy. So she pushes a lot more often and is a bit more useful. And she also heals a amount of HP based on the target's maximum health whenever she swings. So the idea is, and a skill free is now a tensile removal. And yeah, that's it actually. But the idea is we get her to just keep getting, uh, keep seeing counterattacks, keep taking turns. Keep swinging the thing, and hopefully one defense break will end on Ken at some point, and then we can just kill him immediately with Lamia, and then win. But, we'll see if we get lucky enough for that or not. And if not, then I guess Carvus can just, like, one-bomb him or something, but... We might lose the second one purely because I don't have a Soul Weaver, but... We're here for the experiment more than we are the win, so... Oh yeah, shit, he'll push forward that way. Yeah. She did the extra turn, but he might push forwards. We kill the Karen because the Karen's fringe. We have skill nullifier anyway, so we're fine. We kill the Senya because of course we're going to crit. Why would we not? Okay, we didn't quite kill the Senya, but... But now we kill the Senya because... We can. I mean... The plan was never changing. We was never giving Senya a turn. I guess we'll just push, and Pera can exist, I guess, for another turn. Sleep. Ah. Oh. Oh, sweet. Great. So, can Biblis do stuff here? I knew you would do that. So the nice thing about the two turn buff reduction on Biblis, I mean I suppose there isn't one, is that it's like two turn buff reduction. Um, 
I can't immediately think, other than shoe, I can't immediately think of a good reason for her to have it. I guess shoe, honestly. Because then if you're faster than the shoe, you can do this, not worry. Uh, they both got. I mean, that's fine actually, because we want to, we want to crit them, but we don't want them to crit me, ideally. Oh yeah, no matter which one we attack, we're gonna get double countered, aren't we? It's still better that we did it that way, though. Um, I'm not gonna be able to crit either of them. I guess we'll hit the... I guess we'll hit her. That was a lot of damage. Can we silence Ken? Nice. Silence and push back. That pushes bit. No, don't push Bibbles forwards. Right, so this should kill Ken. And give us a counter-attack from uh, the thing. Which gives us another defense break. Nearly even a kill. Let me just kill her because she's nearly dead. Yes, yeah, so that worked quite well. I didn't really look at the HP healing, but Lyme is still like full HP with her own healing and the... Uh, Golden Rose. They're not terrible, really. My biggest issue ever still remains... Please don't kill her. Ah! I really wanted Carvis to fucking punch her in the mouth. Um, my biggest problem with her still remains that you have to force counters. Like, in this situation, she was really good because we forced, like, four or five counters. Maybe, yeah, like... Yeah, it was like four or five counters. So she got like a hundred percent push total. Give or take. Which is really good, but when you can't force counterattacks, it's like not as strong. So we'll see what the next two fights hold for us at least. We'll see if we can like run them with something similar to this again and just see how useful she is. But yeah. Like the buff makes her a lot better, but she's still sort of pseudo random, so eh. Second fight, we're going to hit this tower. So, looking through a lot of the guild, as a quick pretense, I guess. Um, a lot of them are low level. Like, so it's not just pre-season being pre-season, but it is like, this guild is slightly uh, underdeveloped. So, even if Biblis does look impressive here, I might still try her again next week against a, a stronger guild if we fight one. And see if she like hauls it better there. Because right now I'm not going to say she's like, you know, winning because gear gap. But gear gap could be a thing. And could be the reason why we're not doing so bad. Or, yeah. But anyway. We could also lose because gear gap. Because this could be the strongest guy in the guild. But probably isn't. But you never know, right? But anyway. Top team. We're going to go with uh, Nakwal. I don't want her stealth. I want her back on crossbow. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Nakwal to do double crits for Pavel. Pavel is going to kill the uh, Tenebrea. And then we've got our Midnight Gala Lilius for the very specific reason that she is going to be choked by Charon. That's it. Because she can't die unless she gets her thing removed, which won't be removed because she'll be dead, he'll be dead, and he'll hopefully be dead from this. So then he'll just choke her, gain his buffs, and then we'll just bite him and he'll die. And then that's it. Game over. And the bottom team, we're going to go with, even though I don't normally redo this, but I am now because I'm dumb. going to go with Moon Bunny Dom, we're going to go with Biblis, and we're going to go with Lamia. Uh, the idea here is that we're going to just skill one with Biblis to force the counterattack from Charon. That's going to trigger everything. And then Lamia will get like three defense break targets to smack with skill free and we'll win. Bridge. <laughs> like heavy bridge, but that should be how it works. So, skill free. Get our crits. Durandal, okay. 
uh, seal him. We could have sealed Kieron, actually, but the reason we're not sealing Kieron is because I don't know if he's got um, evasion. And I don't want him to evade and it be a problem. We actually fall dispel them, which is not useful, but not, like, unuseful. Right, so now Kieron chokes my Lilius, but we don't care. His damage limit. He gets all this stuff, and then Lilius does this, because even if he's got, like, the same HP as she does, it'll still do at least one damage. Please. Please do one damage. It did 6.7k. <laughs> Imagine it did zero. Oh, boy. Right. She does this. We resist her bullshit. We could also attack Kieron with... Um... Moon Bunny, technically. Mm. No. I'm gonna do this. We'll push everybody forwards. We'll... Swing at Kieron normally. I mean, I guess we lose... Oh, we was gonna lose the skill nullifier anyway, weren't we? We get it's far from over for the stuff. We get the defense bricks and the buff removal stuff. Nice. And then we do this and kill everything. Wait, over. Good cleave. Okay, never mind. But I oh, know, yeah, she gets an extra turn. Fight over. Good cleave. What do you mean, Moonlight Dream Blade? Stop it. There we go. Like, honestly, best combo. Genuinely, I think Biblis and Lamia is like is the best two woman combo. Like for uh, like at least DPS wise, I think Lamia is the best person to put with Biblis. Like Ken's like ML Ken's good and Bologna's good, but I just like Lamia the most at the moment. So two down, one to go. Final fight. We're gonna hit this tower and see what happens. So Top team is going to be Nakwal, Pavel, and Rowana, the standard trio of menace units to deal with stuff that I want to be faster than. And also don't want to play the game, because <laughs> Rowana stops them, Rowana. Um, Nakwal stops them from playing the game. And the bottom team is going to be a bit different, because I want to see if we can do something without Lamia. So we're gonna run Shu for just damage, and hopefully she can like keep herself alive. Uh, this could go really badly though, to be fair. Biblis, because the point is Biblis, right? And our final unit is gonna be Bad Cat Armin, because they're all light units, so they'll all swing into her anywhere, which will give Shu more time to counterattack and do stuff, which will give her more sustainability and more like menace to perform. But Bad Cat also got this. So she's got like an extra 10 speed now, which is nice. Um, I can't get any more of these because my inventory is full. Smilegate, please make the exclusive equipment a separate inventory to actual gear. Because I have too much EE and I don't think I can get rid of them easily without farming them into new ones. And I don't want to because I've already got the ones I want on everyone. So like, yeah, please make them separate or something. Uh, but yeah, so currently she's got chance to provoke on skill 1, yeah, rather than like anything else, which is fine. Um, I'd rather have one of the other two, but this is the only one that rolled 10 speed, so yeah. But yeah, bad cat arm in to soak up the light units to get shoes to counter more and do more stuff, so. We'll see how it goes. Lionheart Samia would just like clear that team, realistically, so like we'd have a much better time running Lionheart. But, I want to run it without Lionheart and see how much worse it is, I guess, for not using her. And I could have run, like, Ken or something for, like, the guaranteed, like, fuck you counters, I guess, but I didn't want to. That's essentially the best way I can really explain myself on that one, like, I just, I didn't want to. Like, Ken would have been fine, but I'd have needed to have run Tywin with him to stop him from being stunned and... I don't know. Like, it'd have been fine, I think, though. But let's see how it goes. That's actually quite good that she gets that that early. If we crit her with Biblis, then I'm 
actually quite happy. So I don't think she can kill Biblis. No. Okay, that's fine though. Blinding is good, and then the anti crit is also good. I was ritual sword counter on the thing. Now, the true question, is she injury? She could not tell. Is the camera cut away too fast? Is not. Okay. Hello? Cool. That's how I nearly dead. Because I can still activate catch him with that. Yeah, like that. And if we get any follow-ups, that's great. The 10% bonus provoke is probably really good here. Yeah, because that forces into her, which is going to force a counter-attack. We can... Swing into Selene again to get another push from Biblis. Follow up, if you please. Thank you. Um, I'll go for her because I know she's counter attack. Ah, bridge. Catch him. No follow up. Um, she'll die if we swing into her. So I guess we just get rid of her now, just to get rid of her. And then we pray that this forces a Elbrus. No. I mean, she might not be counter-attack, to be fair. She might just be over a ritual sword. But, again, you can sort of see, like, the issue we have here, right? Where it's like, we're not really forcing them to counter-attack. We got a couple out of Selene. Like, one or two. But, it's not really been... Oh, yeah, she is counter-attack. There we go. It's not really been enough to, like, be useful. Like this one's nice because it gets rid of her defense buff. No, it doesn't. Never mind. It's alright. I've only got 200 effectiveness. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's only 200 effectiveness. And we still can't cool down the, the cooldown by a single turn. Like, don't worry about it at all. It's, it's completely fine. Like, it's, it's normal, right? To just get 15 percent on the thing that's 100 percent but not get 15 percent on the defense break it's, i'm not mad like at all but yeah there you go guild war done for the week we are free from guild war um final verdict for now probably seems fine like i still i still don't think i'd like necessarily rush to summon her or anything we know what lydica looks like as well like i'm not gonna really talk about lydica here because like I don't want to run for another 20 minutes on video, but uh, that could be a separate one to be fair. But we've already seen Lydica. She's sort of mediocre as well looking. I'm probably just not seeing it, but the gameplay preview of the game it just didn't look good to me personally. But maybe if I went back and looked at it again, I'd like realize how strong she is. But yeah, both units are meh, I guess. Biblis is too specific. Lydica is fine, I suppose. Though we won't know more about Lydica until she comes out realistically. But yeah, either way, that'll be all for the video. Um, fucking summon Biblis, I guess, if you want. Like, it's different for me because I have, like, a lot of things that counter counter. But if you don't have anything that counters counters, then Biblis is decent. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I shall see you next week for the next Guild War where we maybe try Biblis against people with slightly better gear and she dies immediately and then we cry about it because that's probably gonna happen uh yeah see you in the next guild war